Hello everyone, um, I am back with a video that I am very excited to record for you all. Um, is the 10 new releases for the fall and winter catalog for 2021. I am very excited. This is the new uh, catalog and we are going to be discussing apologize these the new releases on top the 10 new releases I'm very excited about them oh so I have my testers um but I have um pulled out the 10 new releases um if you are new to my channel so sorry Hi, my name is Dana, and I am your independent Cincy consultant. Um, I would like it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I do put out. Um, I would like it if you do, if you like this video, um, could you press the like button? The like, the like button. And, um... If you could be so kind to leave a comment, I would like to know who watches my videos. Um, I, I do this because I want to share in what I get, what I think. So um, I would appreciate it if you would do all those things and communicate with me, conversate with me. I would love to talk to you all. But we are here to discuss the new fall and winter since we have 10 of them and we are going to get started. I'm just going to go and I'm just going to go in order. So the first one is Blue Sage and Tonka. Okay, so. Hold on, sorry. Here's Blue Sage and Tonka. And... The, I'm only doing the scent notes. So it is Midnight Midnight Sage Black Lavender and um Tonka Bean. Sorry. So it is Midnight Sage Black Lavender and Tonka Bean. Mm. This is really good. I'm just warming it up with my finger. And this is in the woods, woodsy category. I do get the lavender. I do get the sage. Midnight sage. I don't even know what that smells like. But I do get, an, like, I do get, like, a lavender... I don't know what black lavender smells like, but I do get a lavender. I do get a sage and tonka bean. I don't even know what tonka bean smells like, but this is like a masculine scent. And I love the wax. I love this one. I really do. This So this is blue sage and tonka bean. Okay, so that can go out the way. The next one is cashmere and corduroy. So where is that one? Right here. All right, so this is what it looks like. So this is, the notes are vanilla, Sicilian, bergamot, bergamot and cashmere. Sandalwood. So let's see. Oh, this is nice. That wax is so pretty. I do get the like ver bergamot, um, like a perfumey cologne scent, but it's not as, um, it's not as dark as the Blue Sage and Tonka, but it's really, it's a perfumey scent. I do get the cashmere 
in the vanilla. It's very nice. This would be a really nice bedroom scent, I feel like. Um, cashmere and corduroy. Don't let the corduroy um, scare you. Because when I read that the first time, I was like, corduroy? What does corduroy sound like, you know? But don't let it scare you. It's very nice. So this is cashmere and corduroy. The next one is cinnamon buttercream. Cinnamon buttercream. And this is, the notes are Italian buttercream, mascarpone, and sent over cinnamon cake. So let's see. Okay. I'm warming it up with my finger. For me, if it didn't have mascarpone and it might have like cream, it would have been better than this. Like, I would have liked this, but I don't like it. I mean, it's good, but I don't like it because it has a sour note to it. Mm, yeah, so I, I, I think it's good, but for me, I would say I wouldn't um, warm it or want to buy it. I guess I should, but because of that mascarpone note, yeah. I don't know, but, so we'll see. But, yeah, because of that mascarpone, I don't know. Um, the next one is eucalyptus, eucalyptus reef, reef. Sorry, I keep on getting in the way. It is fresh eucalypt. The notes are fresh eucalyptus, juniper, and frosted mint. Mm, I like this. Eucalyptus, yes. Mm, I don't know what juniper smells like. But the mint, yes. This is nice. And look at the wax. So nice. I like this. Eucalyptus wreath. I like that one. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six more. And then the next one is another bakery one. Okay. So I don't know if I've told you. Okay. So the eucalyptus wreath is the in the fresh category. Um, cinnamon buttercream is in the bakery. Um, corduroy, um, cashmere corduroy is in the woods section of our... Uh, section of the ca of categories of the catalog of the scents <laughs> and um, blue sage and tonka is in the wo um, woodsy section too so we are on another bakery scent and that is graham cracker crunch and I was very excited for this it uh, the notes are caramelized graham cracker Crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So let's do this. It's nice. It's You get that caramelized graham cracker. It's just a little, like it's a lot. It's, it's nice. But you do get that caramelized graham cracker you do get the peanut butter i need to use another finger because i've been using this one for like four of the scents now it's not you know what i'm saying i gotta get it now it's mixing in with so yes you do get that caramelized graham cracker you do get a hint of peanut butter i do smell it and yeah vanilla this is nice. I like this. I want to warm this. I'm not a really big bakery fan because I'm like fruity scents, but I would warm this. And I think a lot of people that would like bakery would like this. All right. So we got five more. So Harvest Blessings. Oops, that's not it. Hold on. Where did it go? No. No. 
Oh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't find it for a minute. I was like, no. Okay. So, Harvest Blessings. It's Radiant Apple Spiced uh, Pumpkin and Soothe Oak. Smooth Oak, sorry. So, it is Radiant Apple Spiced. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, it's Radiant Apple Spiced Pumpkin and Smooth Oak. I don't know why it was so hard for me to do. I like this. I get pumpkin, like straight up. Just. I get pumpkin and then I get apple and then I, I guess because, and what is this in? Sorry. So this is in the spice category. So I get the smooth oak is giving it that earthy note to it okay i like this i do get the apple and the spiced um pumpkin the spiced pumpkin is probably more like the more i get and then on the back end i guess it would be apple i would warm this to see how this would warm and perform in my house and that was in the spice category. The um and this one's in the fruity category and the fruit category and it is pomegranate prosecco. And this wax, I love this wax, man. This wax is pretty. So uh the notes are rose berry, pomegranate, and pink prosecco. I'm trying to get it to where It'll be, um, so you can see it. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> I like this. I really do. I really do. You do get the pomegranate. I don't know what rose berry smells like. And it does smell like a drink. It has that drink, if you are smelling a drink. Oh, this is good. You do get the pomegranate. It is is very is very forefront. Um, Roseberry. I don't know if it should smell like a little bit of rose. I don't know, but it's good. I like this. I would I would warm this in my house. Um, other like I don't know if this would be a. I don't know if this would be a bedroom scent or a like all around my house scent, but I was about to smell it with the top one. But yeah, let me know down below where you would warm this or if you plan on getting this. I would like to know where you would warm it at. Um, If you have a couple of them that you would like to let me know where you would warm them at. I would, you know, like to know. But I will give you my top three, I guess, that I would, what I would purchase. Um, okay, so the next one is a in the fruit category, and it is Scarlet Sunflower. Sorry. Um, and this one is Juicy Apple, Red Cranberries, and Scarlet Sunflower. Okay, does anybody know what a, like a Scarlet Sunflower smells like? Because I don't know. But when I did that... It smells good. I have to let you know. It... Mm. Okay, you do, I smell, I don't know what a sunflower smells like. I'm just warming it up. And now it smells different. Like it does still smell like it, but. I don't know, because when I warmed it up, it was like not. 
I have to get a bar of this, but when I warmed it up, it it was like it was diluted. Like it didn't smell as strong as it did in the, and you could see that I've tried to warm it up. So it's very like shiny. So, but, but I like it. I do smell all of that. It's very, I don't know. It's, it's very, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if it reminds me of something. Because when I smelled it the first time, it reminded me of something. When I smell it now, it reminds me of something. So, do you see apple? Yes. I get the red, um, cranberry, uh, like, predominantly. Like, I get the cranberry and then probably on the back end I'll get the apple. And then the sunflower, I, I guess it gives it a floral scent, like a floral note. It, it's nice. I would get this. And I'm not even putting it to where my tops and least and whatever. I'm just going to do it. I guess I'm just going to do it when we get done. But, um, so we only got two more. This one's in the spice category. And this one is Spice Amber Glow. And then this one is smoked apple, vanilla, and cinnamon embers. Okay. Riley's looking over at me like, you are disturbing me. <laughs> this is nice. Okay, let me use... I'm sorry, I'm running out of fingers. On one hand. This is nice. Um, smoked apple, yes. Cinnamon, yes. Vanilla, yes. Um, embers, I guess. It's a smoky, and I guess the embers would in and, and the smoked apple go to get like will go together. It's really nice. I would get this to warm. And the wax is freaking amazing. Look at that. Um, I would get that to warm in my house. The last one, yay, um, is Tinselberry. And the notes are strawberries, strawberry, cranberry, cinnamon, and sweet sugar. That is a lot, right? Ooh. And this one is in the fruit category. Ooh, this is nice. Mmm, strawberry, cranberry, cinnamon, and sweet sugar. Yes, I get all of that. Ooh. That, um... Strawberry, cranberry. I mean, it's just very, it, it, it's very, it, blah, 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 sorry. It is mixed very well, but you get, you get, all of that together. I like this. And the wax. Look at the wax. It's so pretty. So that is Tinselberry. So let's see. How, um, and it is almost 20 minutes. Um, so let's see. My top three. My goodness. Now I gotta. Shoot. Okay. So let's do this. Oh. Okay. My, well, I'm doing bakery and, okay, I'm going to do this one. So, this one is um, Graham Cracker Crunch. I really do like this one. I think if I want to get into bakery and, you know, I would like this one. And, um, yeah, so I would get, I would get one of these. I would get a bar of that. Um, this is hard because this is really, really, this is a good...
Um, Harvest Blessings. I like this one too. Um, I really do like the apple, the spiced um, pumpkin, and the smooth, uh, the smooth oak. It's really, really nice. Like, And with the graham cracker one. And with the graham cracker one, you do get that cramer, camel, uh, caramelized graham cracker and like the, like the, um, peanut butter. Yes, it's really, really good. So this one, I like everything about this. I really, really do. Um, Harvest Blessings. This would be my number two. And this is hard because I like all of these. And uh, I'll get this one. I like pomegranate Prosecco. That'll be my top three. I, I really do like the way this smells. And I, I really think. I wonder, I wonder this. I don't know if this is the one. I want to know where you would put. Was it this one? I don't remember. But. I would like to know where you would put um, pomegranate prosecco. I don't know if this is the one that I asked about to put it in the comments. I would put, I think this would be a really good bedroom scent. And I wanted to know, I think it was this one. But Scarlet Sunflower, let me know where you would put this in your house. I think this would be a really good bedroom scent too, so. That's good. So, there you have it. Those are all the 10. Can you not get away from there, Asha? Please, be great. Yeah? Um, those are the two cents. Th those are the two cents. Those are my two cents about the 10 um, releases that's coming uh, August 1st. Let me know in the comments down below which what you are excited to see. Let me know if you had a top three. Let me know if you're planning on getting anything, um, any of these scents. Let me know. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. I do appreciate you stopping by, spending some time with me, um, clicking on my video, liking the video, subscribing, all of the things. Um, I'm excited for fall and some really cool things so um yes i'll see you in the next one bye